Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an American supernatural horror film from 2015, titled, The Lazarus Effect. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. Dr. Zoe McConnell is a medical researcher at a university. She is currently working on the Lazarus Project. She brings in a videographer Eva, to record her team's experiment, and introduces her to her fellow researcher and fiancé, Dr. Frank, and two research associates Clay and Nico. As they begin to record, Frank explains their project, in which they have created a serum that stimulates different parts of the brain, and can bring one back from the dead. He aims to use his research to aid healthcare professionals, by giving them enough time to save someone's life. After the interview, Clay and Nico take Eva on a lab tour, as Frank talks to Zoe about her. One night, as Zoe is having sushi with Nico, she tells him that she and Frank were planning their wedding, but then they received the grant for the project, and decided to postpone it until the end of the project. After work, as she sleeps in her apartment, Zoe experiences a nightmare, where she witnesses a fire in a building, and finds people trapped inside the burning apartments. Frank comes over to comfort her, revealing she constantly has the same nightmare, which stems from her childhood trauma, when she witnesses the same incident in her own building. After many failed attempts to achieve promising results, Clay suggests increasing electric pulse levels, and Frank agrees to try it, thinking this could be the breakthrough they are looking for. Upon his suggestion, they change the vital fluid levels, and run a trial on a deceased dog named Rocky. Although the trial seems to be failing in the beginning, it proves to be successful, as the dog is successfully resurrected. After examining his medical condition, Zoe reveals that the serum has caused many physiological changes in him, as his cataract is completely gone. As they are not yet sure about the possible effects of the serum, and the reason behind Rocky's aggressive behavior, Frank asks everyone to keep the information private, until they reach a definitive conclusion. The team celebrates its first major success in the project. Zoe and Frank take Rocky with them to their apartment, but Zoe gets suspicious of his behavior. She discusses her concerns with Frank, but he thinks Rocky is just in shock and needs some time to adjust. Zoe gets a bit conscious about the experiment, thinking it might have its consequences, and they need to be ready for that, but Frank does not take it seriously. Next morning in the lab, Eva tries to play with Rocky but he does not show any response, to which they think the serum might have caused a memory loss in him. While running some tests on Rocky, they find out the serum is still in his blood, although it was supposed to disappear within a few hours. As they discuss the situation, Clay warns them about keeping Rocky at their house, as he can be extremely aggressive due to the side effects of his treatment. Later on, when Clay is working alone in the lab, Rocky escapes from his cage and attacks him, just minutes before the rest of the team comes back. As they clean the lab, Clay again shares his concerns about Rocky, and the team agrees with him this time, as he had destroyed a portion of the lab due to his aggressiveness. Frank runs a few more tests, and finds out Rocky is in a confused state, he has lost his appetite, and his brain continues to create new pathways at an alarming rate. Next day, Frank is called into the Dean office, where she scolds him for running a controversial experiment, when he had initially documented that he wanted to study neural pathways in coma patients. Frank disagrees with her, saying they have just upgraded the initial research. He finds out that she has more information than they shared with her, and thinks someone is spying on them, and is forcing her to cancel their project. Meanwhile, a few strangers barge into the lab, and introduce themselves as representatives of the pharmaceutical company, that has just bought the company that funded their project. They accuse the team of violating the contract rules, and confiscate the entire equipment, as well as the important data. Frank comes back to the lab, where Zoe informs that they have lost everything. The team then shows up at Eva's apartment, who has brought Rocky with her. Zoe accuses her of being responsible for the incident, as it happened just after she started filming the project, but Frank thinks it's not her fault and they should have stored the backup files somewhere other than the lab. After finding no other way to restore their project, Frank comes up with the idea of duplicating the experiment, so they can prove that they created the serum, and not the pharmaceutical company that has taken it from them. As the university has taken away their access cards, Eva uses hers to get inside, and sneaks them in through the back door. Frank offers her to leave, as she might get expelled if she gets caught, but she refuses to leave and intends to work with them. They get back into the lab, where Nico stops the security cameras. After setting up everything, Frank asks Zoe to switch on the electric circuit, but it goes horribly wrong, as she gets electrocuted. They try to rescue her, but Frank soon realizes that she is no more. Devastated by the incident, Frank picks her up and decides to use the serum to bring her back, just like they did with Rocky. They try to stop him from attempting this, but eventually decide to help him, 
as he remains firm in his decision. They begin the experiment, but it does not work initially. Meanwhile, Nico spots the security guard coming towards the lab, and asks everyone to hide. A few minutes later, Zoe surprisingly wakes up, revealing that their experiment was once again successful, and brought her back from the dead. She also expresses some sort of aggression while asking Frank about her death, but he examines her, and assures her that everything is alright. Eva asks her about what happened when she died, but she only remembers blurred visions. As they run an MRI on Zoe, Clay finds out that not only did her body heal from the shock, but she is also experiencing increased neural activity, as the serum is still in her blood, just like it was in Rocky's. Nico explains it to Eva, saying a normal person only uses 10% of the brain, but Zoe's brain is currently experiencing hyperactivity, and she is using her brain to the fullest capacity. He thinks it's because of the serum, as it speeds up brain evolution. Frank takes her back home and tries to comfort her, but gets suspicious, as she mysteriously reads his brain and tells exactly what he is thinking. Apart from the telepathic abilities, she also develops telekinetic powers, but gets scared thinking that something is wrong with her. As she wonders about her condition, she overhears them talking about her. They think she has completely changed after being resurrected, and they might have made a mistake in bringing her back. Frank asks everyone to behave normally in front of her, until they figure it out, but Zoe hears him as well, realizing they are alarmed by her situation. She also experiences physical changes and improved strength. As Rocky shows up in the apartment, she kills him due to her frustrations. She gets scared, and tries to explain her condition to Frank. She tells him that she can hear and see things beyond her abilities. She reveals that when she was dead, she found herself in her nightmare of being stuck in the burning building, and lived the moment over and over again. She thinks she went to her version of hell, and experienced the worst moment of her life. He disagrees with her, saying she was out for less than an hour, but she does not believe him, and thinks she spent a lot more time stuck in that building. He gets confused about her condition, but assures her he will figure it out soon. Later on, Eva puts Zoe to sleep, but experiences the same vision of Zoe's nightmare, where she finds some people trapped inside an apartment, and something attacks her. After coming back to her consciousness, she explains it to Frank, but he gets suspicious, as she repeats the same events Zoe has been experiencing in her nightmares for years. As they talk to her, Nico also finds a mark on her arm, proving that something had attacked her. While discussing it with Clay, Frank thinks Zoe must have told her about her childhood trauma, but it still does not justify the injury on her arm. Nobody can understand what happened to Eva, but she thinks when Zoe died, her soul got trapped in that moment, and could not move on. The situation seems to be getting out of hand, as they have no idea what's happening to Zoe. Nico gets frustrated and argues with Frank, over bringing her back, but he requests his help to fix things up, as he doesn't want to lose Zoe. Meanwhile, Clay treats Eva's wounds. He reveals that the serum has unlocked some unusual parts in Zoe's brain, and it is creating situations a normal human brain cannot even imagine. As they talk, Nico turns toward his laptop, and finds out it has been hacked by someone. He tells Frank that they are being watched from the beginning. Realizing they might get caught, Frank asks them to pack up all the stuff, and leave the building before anyone shows up. They start collecting the stuff, and ask Nico to keep an eye on Zoe, but she disappears. Nico starts looking for her, but she suddenly reappears and asks him to help her out, as she does not know what's happening to her. She also tries to seduce him, saying he is the only friend she has. He shuts her away, but she gets angry and locks him in a closet, by using her telekinetic powers, and crushes him inside. Soon, the rest of the team comes back to the lab, and finds her peacefully sleeping on the couch. Eva asks her about Nico, but she says he just went out. Clay loses his temper and intends to call the security, as he is afraid of her. Although Frank stops him, he argues with him as well, as the situation has gotten out of their control. Frank does not want anyone to know about Zoe, as he thinks if they find out about her, they will start running experiments on her. Clay does not agree with him this time, and tries to call for help, but the power of the entire building goes out, and disables the systems. They get trapped inside the building, as all the doors get jammed and they cannot find a way out. As they struggle with the doors, Zoe talks to Eva in a strange manner, revealing that she knows what she is thinking. Eva once again asks about Nico, as Zoe was the last person who saw him, but she denies knowing anything. Clay starts arguing with her, but she kills him after shoving his e-cigarette down his throat. Frank finally realizes the threat in Zoe, but she disappears, he gets the poison from the lab, and asks Eva to help him take her down. He tries to trick her, but Zoe quickly finds out he is lying to her, and kills him instantly. 
Eva, who is the only one left alive in the lab, finds herself in Zoe's subconscious again. This time, she figures out that Zoe was the one who caused the fire in the building, and went to hell due to this act. She kills her by injecting the poison, but it proves to be an illusion, as Zoe reappears and kills her. Then, Zoe injects her own serum saturated blood into Frank, and brings him back from the dead. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out.